I'm about to do an adventure lab. This adventure lab has me finding information at five different locations on the Wilmette waterfront. The first location puts me in view of this lock system that controls the flow of water in and out of the North Channel uh, to and from Lake Michigan. And now I have to figure out when this bridge was built. And as always, I'm gonna go to the plaque here. Sure enough, the date is right there, but I'm not gonna show you what it is. You always gotta go to the plaque. Location number two brings me back to the Baha'i Temple, which was featured in my last video. There's only 10 of these in the world, only one in North America, and it just happens to be here in Wilmette. I have to determine what color dot is on the back of this post at eye level. Looks like that used to be red. The next location, I believe, is down here. Oh, wait, I think it's actually on the other side of the bridge. Gotta go around. Okay, this is probably more like it. The information I need down here is on this plaque. You always go to the plaque. I need the year it was dedicated, which I won't show you. Um, but, however, this is dedicated to a civil engineering feat that took place long ago when they reversed the flow of the Chicago River. Um, these locks were heavily involved in that, and that kept um, all the terrible pig entrails and, and sewage from flowing out into our water supply, which is Lake Michigan. And it said we sent it to St. Louis, which they loved. The penultimate location is the Wallace Bowl, where you can see plays and concerts during the summer. Is the information I need on this plaque? It was, it was. The final location is out on the beach. This is beautiful Gilson Beach. And I gotta tell you, what is on this bike rack right here? I think it says the town we're in, Wilmette. And there you have it, Adventure Lab successfully completed. And uh, if you've never done an Adventure Lab, they're a lot of fun and they're a great way to get your geocache numbers up, up, up because each stage counted as a geocache find. Anyway, we'll see you next time, everybody. Wait, 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 don't go, don't go. This Adventure Lab has a bonus cache attached to it. Uh, what does that mean? Well, some Adventure Labs, um, when you solve them, they give you the coordinates to an additional geocache um, that you would not be able to find had you not uh, solved the Adventure Lab. So we're gonna go to find this final container. It's got a lot of favorite points. Uh, and I wanna thank the people in the geocaching Facebook group because I didn't really understand how Adventure Labs worked and I missed how I could find the coordinates, but they explained it to me, so here we go. This is one of the last remaining Coast Guard stations on the Great Lakes. Keep going, keep going. I believe this is it. In addition to the coordinates, it also gave me the code. That was it, all right. And check it out, I've never seen a lock like that inside is the log book. Check out this plastic paper log and check out my name on there. All right, let's get you back. Bonus cash achieved. Okay, this time for real. Cheers.